Cowboy Nation, we are a joke. The Cowboys are a joke. Us as a fan base, not all of us, not the ones that are realistic about the team, but a lot of our fan base is completely delusional and is a joke. We're really going to keep Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy, the weasel, as Big Country called him. He is a weasel. The one that lied to get his job in Dallas. The one that threw Kellen Moore under the bus so he could get on the side of the Dak Prescott fan base and keep his job. The one who tried to bring in that terrible Mike Nolan 3-4 defense into Dallas expecting to win. The same guy that said we were going to run the football this year. Meanwhile, we were pass happy. And we did nothing to get a power back. The same guy who just had the most embarrassing playoff loss in Dallas Cowboys history. The guy that lost to the team that let him go. That barely made the playoffs at 9-8. and eight And destroyed us on our home turf. Yeah. We're going to keep this guy. And Jerry Jones come out saying things like, <clears throat> well, Mike McCarthy's got the highest win percentage in, in Dallas Cowboys history. He, you know, he, 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 he gives us the best success chances going forward. You know, he, you know, he got us to 12 wins in a row. You, you know, he, he has postseason success. Even though we regressed this year. Because last year we made it to the divisional round as a wild card, the five seed. You know, and I, I, I think it's in our 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 best interest to 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 to, to, to keep Mike McCarthy. Jerry Jones is the worst general manager in the entire NFL, and yeah, he deserves to be fired, hundred percent. And he obviously does not care. I thought that maybe he did care about Wayne, but he doesn't. He doesn't. All he cares about is money. All he cares about is tricking enough stupid fans to buy in, thinking that we have a chance, and then blowing it at the end of the year. Jerry Jones, it's, it's, it's completely obvious now, 100% obvious that he does not care about winning. He does not care. Because if he did, he would have fired Mike McCarthy. And I actually thought Jerry Jones would fire him because I saw his face and he was really disappointed. I thought for sure that he would actually fire Mike McCarthy. I saw the look on his face, but I was wrong. And I admit that. I was wrong that he would fire him. Mike McCarthy is a microcosm of the Cowboys. Cowboy Nation, I don't expect the Cowboys to do anything next year. Sure, we might win anywhere from 8 to 12 games. Sure, we may even make the playoffs. Heck, if we get lucky like last year, we might even win a playoff game. But in terms of getting to the championship game, in terms of getting past the first or second round, like I said many weeks ago, it will not happen with Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy will not take us to the NFC championship game. He will not take us to the NFC championship game. He won't. He has proven time and time again he comes unprepared in big games. He has one of the most undisciplined football teams in the entire NFL. Every year he's been the head coach, we have led the league or been very close to the top when it's come to penalties. Every year he's been here, we've come out sloppy, unprepared, and just nowhere even close to being ready for the big games. Nowhere even close to being ready for the big games. Mike McCarthy would never have kept his job if it wasn't for Dan Quinn. I'm seeing a lot of people go, go after Dan Quinn, and I agree. Dan Quinn had a terrible game plan, and he definitely deserves some blame in our loss to the Green Bay Packers because he did not do a good job scheming. He did a terrible job. But if it wasn't for Dan Quinn's defense getting all those turnovers La 2022 and 2021, if it wasn't for him having the highest pass rush and giving Dak Prescott in this offense second and third chances to score 
in short fields. If it wasn't for Kellen Moore being able to maximize what we had, the Cowboys, we would have not won 12 games. We would not have been 12 and 5 three straight years of Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is somebody that has ridden the coattails of other people's successes his entire career. When he was in Green Bay, he rode the coattails of Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. In Dallas, he rode the coattails of Dan Quinn for two years. He rode the coattails of Kellen Moore for three years. And now, and now he's gonna keep his job. And I blame Jerry Jones, of course, but I also blame Dak Prescott to some extent, to some extent, because Dak Prescott knows he has a huge fan base. We know as Cowboys fans that Dak Prescott has a huge fan base. His fan base is huge and they like to cater to what Dak Prescott wants. Remember, we took Luke Schoonmaker last year in the second round instead of going after Osiris Torrance, an offensive lineman. And what did that do? Nothing. We have cut multiple receivers like Amari Co or traded multiple receivers like Des Bryant, Amari Cooper, and, and let others go to please Dak Prescott. And when he came out and said, if you're going to fire Mike McCarthy, then you got to fire me. I had a sick feeling that we were going to keep Mike McCarthy because Jerry Jones knows Dak Prescott his fan base makes a lot of money for the Dallas Cowboys. His fan base is huge. And they know that they like to keep Dak Prescott happy, right? And the only way he's going to be happy is if Mike McCarthy stays another year. And so that's exactly, I feel like that is a big reason. Not exactly, but that is a big reason why Mike McCarthy is still here. Is because of Dak and Dak Prescott's fan base. When, he came, when Dak came out and said that, when he came out and said that statement, that said it all. That said it all. And I had a feeling, I just had a feeling when he said that and then other players started coming out, it's, it's obvious. Dak Prescott will never win the Super Bowl. He will never even get to an NFC championship game with the Dallas Cowboys. He won't. This was his last chance and he blew it in the biggest moment. He will not make it next year. Even if even if the Cowboys, the Cowboys will still will still have a strong roster going into next year. We will. But in terms of going far farther than the first or second round, it's not going to happen with this coach and in this and this quarterback, but especially this coach, especially this coach because he does not instill fear into the players. He does not discipline the players in games. His teams are consistently some of the most penalized football teams in the entire NFL. And Jerry Jones wants to keep him. This is why the Dallas Cowboys have been a mediocre franchise for the last 30 years is because Jerry Jones, he's content. As long as he can win enough games, as long as he can make the Cowboys good enough to compete, make the playoffs, maybe win a playoff game here and there like we did last year against the Bucks, or like we did in 2018 against the Seattle Seahawks, he's content with that. He doesn't care about winning a Super Bowl. I don't care what he says from this point forward. With keeping Mike McCarthy like this, saying that we're progressing, even though we regressed because we made it farther last year, than we did this year in the playoffs shows me he doesn't know a dang thing about football. He is very average when it comes to talent evaluation. A lot of people like to say, well, he's good at drafting, but we haven't exactly gotten a lot of great players in the middle part of the rounds. Now, we gotten Jake Ferguson and Pollard and guys like that here and there, and even Dak on that same note. But for the most part, we've been not great at drafting past the first round. Since in a long time, we haven't. The last good draft we had, we have had two 2016 and 2020 were the last two good drafts overall that we had. Some may make the argument 2022 or 2018, but really, those were the last two good drafts we had because we got three pole bowlers in 2020 in Biotish, CD Lamb, Trayvon Diggs, and in 2016, we got Prescott, Elliott, Jalen Smith, along with a few other guys that started for us. So this 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 just goes to show that we have no chance next year. And I'm, you know, I'm obviously going to still watch the team and everything, but in terms of making as much content 
it's questionable. I don't, I don't think I'm going to make as much content. I didn't really do it last year because I didn't have time and because I just thought it, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So don't take this. Oh, it's like, oh, you're going to stop being a fan. No, I'm not going to stop being a fan of the team, but I'm not going to put my heart. I'm not going to allow this team to take my heart and soul away like I have in the past because I just know what to expect now. I'll go out there, watch on Sunday, obviously root for the best and expect and expect the worst. And that's what you have to do. And I should, and I've been trying to do that the last couple of years, but you know, this team was actually talented enough, but we couldn't get it done. The big reason is because Mike McCarthy consistently came unprepared. And it's even worse when you have Bill Belichick, Mike Vrabel, Jim Harbaugh, a couple other names out there that are available that could really make a difference because the team is talented enough with most of the guys that we have. We're just missing a few pieces here and there. It shows that Jerry Jones does not care about winning a Super Bowl. He does not care about making the NFC Championship game. And Cowboy Nation, don't expect anything else different next year. We will, at best, win 12 games. We will, at best, maybe, maybe win a wild card playoff game, depending on who we play. But we won't get past the divisional round. And we probably won't get past the first round either because we didn't this year. Well, at best, we win 12 games or so. We make the playoffs. We get lucky. We maybe win a wild card playoff game, depending on who we play. But we won't get past the divisional round. If we won't. The best we can do is win a playoff game in the wild card, and that's it. And, that, and that, that's what it's been with Mike McCarthy. That's what it's been the last 30 years, is we can only get to the wild card and sometimes, sometimes win a game sometimes win a game and that's it we are the definition of mediocrity we have been for the last 30 years and jerry jones is an idiot man the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result jerry jones is insane and he's an idiot he is insane and he is an idiot and i also want to say this Three, another reason why the franchise doesn't go anywhere is because Jerry treats people like family. The NFL, at the end of the day, is a business. It's a business. Jerry doesn't treat it that way. He treats it like family. And that's why we haven't gone anywhere. And we will not continue to go anywhere as long as Jerry Jones keeps making decisions like this. Like he has for the last 30 years, for the most part. So, Cowboy Nation, nothing to expect next year except for another season of maybe making the playoffs, maybe getting to the first or second round. And that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.